Hello YouTube. So, slight change of plans. At the end of last episode, I mentioned wanting to do a certain water-loving tropical bird. Um, after, you know, I, I was quite obviously referencing flamingos there, I think. At least I was referencing there, I think it was obvious. <laughs> um, but after looking at how much space I have left for the jungle area, this is quite a lot, but I'm gonna use a lot of it. Um, I've decided to uh, move the flamingos to a different area and uh, put a different animal here, gibbons. Um, they don't like uh, water as much as they like trees. And they'll get a nice island um, on which visitors can uh, look at them really well. And the flamingos are going to be in another, in another area of the zoo where they also make a lot of sense to be, you know? So, uh, yeah. Without any further ado, let's get building.
Well, look at them. All swinging about happily, you know, on their island. And Fristers will probably love it too, because, you know, people... A lot of people at least really like uh, seeing the monkeys and the apes in the zoo, you know, playing about, which is what gibbons also do, so... I have a feeling it will become a popular enclosure. For the rest, uh, yeah, not much to say. You know, this little uh, house connects the uh, the island to the rest of the of the zoo, allowing keepers to enter and everything. And uh, yeah, the yeah the gibbons they can just do whatever they want, and uh, that's probably what they are gonna do. And uh, yeah, next week I'll be building uh, an enclosure for the biggest resonance the zoo will see. I think we all know what are, those are gonna be. It's one of those animals that every zoo really needs to, so yeah. Until then, see you later.